Hi, my name is Tony Gray and thank you so much for watching this video lesson. We're going to be looking at how to solo over a progression that contains chords from different keys. Now, in the Tony Gray Bass Academy, there's a whole chapter on this particular subject. I'm calling it the linear solo concepts. And what I'm doing is just trying to create really melodic, simple ideas with a nice flow through chord changes that are coming from different keys. Now, also in the Tony Gray Bass Academy, there's lessons on the bebop stuff and jazz standards and basically just helping you navigate your way through these progressions that you might be a little bit intimidated by and, and think you know you can't solo from key change to key change easily well hopefully with a bit of practice and using this concept it's going to help you really th flow through the changes in a more melodic um, focused way all right, now this chord progression contains four chords and we're going to be looking at three different key changes. Now, the, th the first chord is an F minor 7, an F minor 7, and I'm thinking E flat major. So if you know your E flat major modes, you'll know that that's where the F minor 7 can come from and we're thinking Dorian. But I'm not so much thinking Dorian, I'm just thinking E flat major. All right, that's my home bass. So if I play an F minor 7 chord and play an E flat major scale over it, it should sound really nice. Okay, so F minor 7 and we're thinking E flat major. The next chord's an E major 7, an E major 7, and I'm thinking B major over the top of this chord. So that kind of gives it a Lydian sound. So the fourth mode of the B major modes is E Lydian. So you want to kind of think like that here. So here's an E major, and here's a B major scale. minor 7 and now I'm thinking the G major, G major scale over an A minor 7. Here's a G major scale. So, so far we've looked at three different chords and three different key changes. The F minor 7, thinking E flat major, the E major 7, we're thinking B major, and now the A minor 7, we're thinking G major. Now the last chord is kind of an, a G major with a B in the bass. So again, I'm just going to be thinking of the G major scale here. So here's the chord, and here's a G major scale. last two chords I'm just kind of thinking G major. So the duration of the chords is two bars each and don't worry if you kind of kind of keep up with this video there's a document for you to download so when you watch the video again just make sure you have the document in front of you and you can see exactly what's going on. Okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play a quarter note line through these chord changes. So what I'm going to do is just start at any random note so for the F minor 7 I'm thinking E flat major but I can start on any note of that scale. So F, here's the F minor, and let's start on an A flat. And what I'm going to do is just play quarter notes right the way through until the chord changes. So if there's two bars each, they're going to be um, eight quarter notes. So here we go, E flat major scale, starting from an A flat descending. Okay, so that's eight notes there. And I went from an A flat all the way down to a lower A flat or an A flat down the octave. Now my chord is about to change to an E major seven. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna either keep descending, or we're gonna start ascending. You know, the, when you're improvising this stuff, you can change direction at any time you want. You know, you don't have to kind of go all the way down to as low as possible and then change and go up as high as possible. You can just kind of challenge yourself and just change direction at any given moment, you know, just to keep it interesting. And what it really does is it just trains your ear 
to hear the chord change and what you're going to do is you're going to play the next note available descending or the next available note ascending all right so but you want to change key all right so if i'm a flat over an f minor 7 chord and we're about to change to an e major and i want to continue descending the next note available in the new key will be an f sharp okay so again let's play eight notes from this f minor 7 starting on a flat changes to E major I just want to start from this F sharp and continue down the B major scale now the chord's changing again to A minor and I'm on the note F sharp I want to continue descending so the next note available in G major from this F sharp will be an E Don't forget you can change direction at any time. What I'm going to do is give you the document so you can really see what I'm doing here. I'm going to write out a quarter note line through once through these changes and I want you to just analyze what I've done and kind of relate it to that scale. All right? And then I'm going to demonstrate me just playing a quarter note line through this progression. Then I'm going to kind of open up my ideas and just kind of solo and be more melodic. And what I'm going to do is just try to keep to that concept so I'm not just leaping intervallically I'm just kind of going with the flow of the line and then just changing and adjusting the scale as I go now it might sound complicated and a little bit difficult but once you kind of get into this stuff it's going to really open up your ears it's a great ear training exercise you're going to start hearing the chord changes and you're not going to necessarily think of the scale you're playing you're just going to hear the tension you know because it's kind of random where you're going to land when the chord changes so you're kind of forced to hear that tension against the chord and you can hear when it's going to when you're going to play a wrong note you can hear it's a wrong note and you start to kind of anticipate how it's going to sound you're also really improving the knowledge of your instrument and what it does it just really kind of frees you up so when you're improvising over a progression you're not really thinking Oh, where am I? What's going on? Which scale do I have to use? You're kind of just in the, in the flow of the line and nothing really disturbs it. Now, it takes a bit of practice, but once you kind of get to that stage, you start to kind of really find your own voice as a musician. So here now, I'm just going to improvise a quarter note line through the changes and then we're going to get into the solo.